Today I will explain the static yield comparison approach. It is one out of the three static income valuation approaches commonly used by real estate investors. Generally, yield is a return measure for an investment over a set period of time expressed as a percentage. Higher yields are perceived to be an indicator of higher risk and higher income. We are going to have a look at three very important and widely used yield ratios in the real estate sector. There's the cross initial yield, the net initial yield and the cap rate. Let's start with the cross initial yield. To calculate it, you simply have to divide the rental income by the purchase price of the property. In order to calculate the net initial yield of the property, you have to divide the net operating income by the purchase price plus the transaction costs. Examples for transaction costs are legal fees, stamp duty and in some cases brokerage fees. Depending on the state or country, the transaction costs can vary a lot. That is why a lot of investors use the cap rate in order to make it more simple and to compare their potential investments. In order to calculate the cap rate, you have to divide the net operating income by the purchase price. Now you understand the static yield comparison approach, which will help you to compare your investment properties. To understand the difference between rental income and net operating income, watch my previous video. If you like this video, hit the like button and if you want to see the future videos explaining the other two static income approaches and other interesting topics, please subscribe to my channel. Ferdinand Bräutigam from Oceanside Property. See you soon.